Every ogre has the language to ogre, while every language has the ogre to language. Every language has the right to die an ogre, but this is not a duty. Every ogre has the right to make mistakes, linguistic or otherwise. Every language has the right to ogre individuality. Every ogre has the right to distrust language. Every language has the right to love its ogres. Every language has the ogre to not be distinguished and famous. Every language has the right to be ogreish and idle. Every ogre has the right to look after a language till one or the other dies. A language has the right to be a language. An ogre has the right to be an ogre. A tongue or hand is not obliged to love its ogres, but it must help it in difficult times. Every language has the right to sometimes be unaware of its ogres. Every ogre has the right to be in doubt, but this is not a duty. Every ogre has the right to be happy. Every language has the ogre to be unhappy. Every language has the ogre to be silent. Every language has the ogre to realize its negligibility and magnificence. Every ogre has the language to understand. Every language has the ogre to understand nothing. Every language may language but it cannot ogre. Every ogre has the right to ogre in a family of ogres. Every language is responsible for its ogres. Every ogre has the right to cry in any language. Every language has the right to be misogred. No ogre has the right to ogre another ogre guilty. Every ogre has the language to not be afraid. No language can defeat. No ogre can surrender.